This is the second Sunday after the Epiphany. It's also a memorial mass for the repose of the soul of Father Elias Ayub and his daughter Rita. Um, Father Elias served in this parish and he used to go and visit my mother when she was dying in the last year and a half of her life. And her, his visits were always a special thing for her. It's good to pray for the deceased and it's good to pray for good deceased priests. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Jesus Christ, our Lord, at your divine baptism in the Jordan River, you revealed that you were consubstantial with the Father and the Holy Spirit. Enlighten our minds and our hearts on this day of your great epiphany. Make us holy by the indwelling of your Spirit and make us worthy to celebrate this Feast of Lights so that we may glorify and thank you, your Father and your Holy Spirit, now and forever. Peace be with the church and her children. Glory to God. Heaven testifying to his beloved Son and to the only begotten Son, who is worship, his Lord, right handed up in the river, and who accepted baptism from John, his forerunner, and to the Holy Spirit, who descended and appeared above the head of the Son, Baruch Morabu. To the good one be glory and honor on this feast and all the days of our lives and forever. The earth rejoices in you, Epiphania, Son of God, and the peoples and nations shout for joy on this day of your baptism. Ye have dawned from the Father and have sanctified baptism for us. A church of the nations proclaim the glory of the Son of God, who became man and was baptized for your sake in the Jordan River and cry out to him. Blessed are ye, Christ's word of God, you willingly emptied yourself and took the form of man. He gave us a pledge of life in the waters of baptism, making us holy and ears of your kingdom. Now, at Christ, we ask you the fragrance of this incense, sanctify us through this great epiphany. Create a new heart in us, make us newborn children of your Father. 
and pour our forgiveness our, upon your flock, that we may worship you, glorify your Father, and give thanks to the Holy Spirit now and forever. Christ, word of the Heavenly Father, ye became man for our sake and were baptized in the Jordan River. Ye became the way and the door that leads us to the Father. Grant us your grace and mercy and accept the fragrance of our incense that you may raise glory and thanks to you, to your Father and to your Holy Spirit forever. Amen. Sanctify our minds and purify our consciences that we may praise you with purity and listen to your holy scriptures. To you be glory forever. Amen. Peoples and nations, waters have been truly blessed. All on earth be attentive, waters have been sanctified. reading from the 
the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians with your blessing. Glory to the Lord of Paul and the Apostles. May the mercy of God descend upon the reader, the listeners, and this parish and her children forever. Brothers and sisters, we do not proclaim ourselves. We proclaim Jesus Christ as Lord and ourselves as your slaves for Jesus' sake. For it is the God who said, let light shine out of darkness, who has shown in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. But we have this treasure in clay jars, so that it may be made clear that this extraordinary power belongs to God and does not come from us. We are afflicted in every way, but not crushed, perplexed, but not driven to despair, persecuted, but not forsaken, struck down, but not destroyed, always carrying in the body the death of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may also be made visible in our bodies. For while we live, we are always being given up to death for Jesus' sake, so that the life of Jesus may be made visible in our mortal flesh. So death is at work in us, but life in you. But just as we have the same spirit of faith that is in accordance with, with Scripture, I believe, and so I spoke. We also believe, and so we speak, because we know that the one who raised the Lord Jesus will raise us also with Jesus and will bring us with you into his, into his presence. Yes, everything is for your sake, so that grace, as it extends to more and more people, may increase thanksgiving to the glory of God. Praise be to God always. Before the proclamation of the gospel of our Saviour, announcing life for our souls, we offer this incense and ask for your mercy, O Lord. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. From the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. John, who proclaimed life to the world, let us listen to the proclamation of life and salvation for our souls. Remain silent, O listeners, for the Holy Gospel is about to be proclaimed to you. Listen and give glory and thanks to the word of the living God. John the Apostle said, The next day, John the Baptist was again standing with two of his disciples as he watched Jesus walk by, and he exclaimed, Look, here is the Lamb of God. The two disciples heard him say this, and they followed Jesus. When Jesus turned and saw them following, he said to them, what are you looking for? They replied, Rabbi, which translated means teacher, where are you staying? He said to them, come and see. They came and saw where he was staying and they remained with him that day. It was about four o'clock in the afternoon. One of the two who heard John speak and followed him was Andrew, Simon Peter's brother. He first found his brother Simon and said to him, we have found the Messiah, which is translated the anointed one. He brought Simon to Jesus who looked at him and said, you are Simon, son of John. You are to be called Kephas which is translated Peter. This is the truth. Peace be with you.
name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Reverend Deacon Robert Pio, brothers and sisters in Christ. Our Lord came to give us the truth. And not only the truth, the way that a teacher tells you what is right or what's wrong, but more than that, the truth as a way of life and also as a person, our Lord himself, and as God. So that the truth is not just something for our heads. The truth is not just something to be written down in a book. It's something to be lived. And to the extent that we know the truth, that we say the truth, but we don't live it, we are hypocrites. It's a very strong word, hypocrite. It means a pretender, an actor, someone who says to do something but doesn't do it. Someone who says, this is my standard, but then doesn't live it. Someone who criticizes other people for not keeping to the standards, but then don't do it themselves. It's a very hard word. It's a word that pierces through the masks we wear. Because if we look at our conscience, we will see that we are all, to some extent, hypocrites. We demand of other people standards and values which we don't demand of ourselves. We are often very fast to make excuses for ourselves but we're not so fast to make the same excuse for other people if they upset us. Very often we will get angry that other people have lost their temper, but at the same time we're getting angry. We will get other, angry that other people lie but we will lie to defend ourselves. We will tell other people that they're doing the wrong thing and we will do it ourselves. We will hold other people to Christian standards without trying to consistently live those standards in our own lives. And this is hypocrisy. It's something we all need to take very seriously because God cannot be fooled. If I criticize my children for something and I do the same thing myself, I can make excuses and I can force those excuses on the children. I can shut the children up. but I can't do the same to God. I can't fool him. I can say to other people, I've done the best I can, I've lived a good life, and I can even believe it myself. But I can't fool God the same way. And one day, I have to give an account for that. So the answer is to try to live in sincerity, to examine my conscience and not to expect of other people what I can't expect of myself and to raise the standard I demand of myself. I should start to learn the danger signs. Why am I always getting angry in this situation? Why am I always criticizing this person? Why do I always think no one appreciates me? 
Why do I always think people aren't grateful to me? And when I see those danger signs, I have to learn to stop and think. Because to be a hypocrite is really a truly awful thing. But there is an answer. And the answer is to seek the holiness of God and to be humble and to be less condemning of other people. I see what happens, but I don't condemn. I don't judge people's motives. I might see an action I don't like, but I can't judge their motives. And one very important thing in the road to holiness is to make just a little bit more effort. People say, oh, but Father, I lost my temper at the children because I was so tired. I, I live through this myself. Sometimes I find it difficult to control my temper. But we can improve as we grow older, and we improve by doing this, by making a little bit more of an effort. And if I know I get tired and I get angry, then in that circumstance, make just a little bit more of an effort. I know that when I come home from work, I might be short-tempered. I make just a little bit more of an effort. A little bit more. It could make a very big difference not to indulge, not to go with my weakness. And only if I do that, only if I work that way, can I really say that it, I tried my best not to be a hypocrite. I tried to be sincere. And that is really, I think, the only way practically of living the truth which Jesus came to give us. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. We believe in one God, the Father Almighty. Maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible, we believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. We confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and we look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. It would not be had a law over word, a law hood, them had it a yard. When observe a table talk, your baiter, was rude by a claw, it could show. The hell to more your dabber and what's that? Salo alei me tumoron. Elo hon kabil korbono, on etzera hamaleim ba asluto. As 
Lord and God, you accepted the offerings of our ancestors. Now accept these offerings which your children have brought to you out of their love for you and for your holy name. Shower your spiritual blessings upon them and in place of their earthly gifts, grant them life and your kingdom. Amen. As we remember our Lord God and Saviour Jesus Christ and his plan of salvation for us, we will call upon this offering all those who have pleased God from Adam to this day especially Mary, the Blessed Mother of God, Saint Maroon, Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, Saint Anthony the Great, whose feast we celebrate today, Saint John and Saint John Henry Newman. Remember, O God, the children of the Holy Church, our fathers and mothers, our brothers and sisters, both the living and the departed, especially Abuna Uriah Sayyub and his daughter Rita, for whom this sacrifice is offered. Remember also all those who share with us today in this offering. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. O Father, God of peace and Lord of security, make us worthy to embrace one another with a sincere kiss in the spirit of your unending love, that we may glorify and thank you, your only Son and your Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Peace to you, O altar of God. Peace to the holy mysteries placed upon you. Peace to you, deacon. Peace to you, serve of the Holy Spirit. before you to receive your blessing and assistance for we are weak and you are poor and refuge of all raise the glory to you to your only son to your holy spirit now and forever amen our lord may the light of your face shine upon us deliver us from every evil and blot out all our transgressions that you may raise the glory and thanks to you to your only son to your holy spirit now and forever amen for love of god the father the grace of the only begotten son and the communion and indwelling of the Holy Spirit be with you, my brothers and sisters, forever. And with your spirit. Let us lift up our thoughts, our minds, and our hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord with reverence and worship him with humility. It is right and just. Truly it is right and just to glorify and exalt you, maker of all creation. With the angels we glorify you, and with voices of praise we cry out and proclaim. come and will come 
You are holy God, the Father, and abundant in mercy. Because of your love for us, you sent your Son into the world, and he became flesh of the Virgin Mary for our salvation. Wabiomo haudak dom ha sho di led ma bid haye. In sabalah mo bidal kadi sho to. Barrehu kades. Wakso ya bil tan mi dal kadomar. Sab ahu mene kurhun. Ho no deni tau, fagro dil. Dachlo fekun, wachlo sahie, metexe u meti heb. El hosu yod, hau be wal haie, dal olam ol min. So damsig woman, hamro woman, my o barrehu cardes Yabel tan me dow cardomar Sab estown mene curhoon. Ho no. Oh no, Danny Tau, when more dear dear ticker dato, Dahlo fecun, Wahlo sarie, mete shedu meti herb, El Hosoyo, how be well higher, or me. He then commanded and instructed them, saying, Each time you celebrate these mysteries, you remember my death and resurrection until I come again. We remember your death, O Lord. We profess your resurrection. We await your second coming. We implore your mercy and compassion. We ask for the forgiveness of sins. May your mercy rest upon us. Lord, we remember your coming that saved us, and as we await your second coming, we offer you praise and ask you, on that day when you will judge the righteous and the sinners, do not condemn us because of our sins, but have compassion and mercy on us. Turn your face away from our sins and assist us. For this your church implores you, and through you and with you implores your Father, saying, Have mercy on us, Almighty Father. Have mercy on us. Lord, as we, your sinful children, receive your graces, we thank you for them and because of them. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we profess our faith in you, and we ask you, have, have compassion, compassion on us, O God, have mercy on us and hear us. How awesome is this moment, my beloved, for the living holy upon this offering for our sanctification let us stand with reverence as we pray have mercy on us O God have mercy on us send your Holy Spirit upon us and upon these offerings that he may assist and pardon us Hear us, O Lord. Hear us, O Lord. Hear us, O Lord. And may your living Holy Spirit come and rest upon us and upon this offering. By his descent, he may make this bread the body of Christ our God. 
Amen. And make remission of this chalice for blood of Christ our God. Amen. May those who share in these mysteries be cleansed body and soul from every sin and receive eternal life. Amen. Lord, accept our prayers and grant security to your people and peace to your flock. Protect our shepherds, Francis, the Pope of Rome. Be shouted to Peter, our Patriarch of Antioch, and Antoine Shuttable, our Bishop. Assist the priests, the deacons, and all those who serve your Holy Church, so that they may intercede and pray to you on our behalf. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, through the intercession of Our Lady, St. Joseph, St. Anthony, and the saints, we pray that you grant courage to the Christians worldwide who are persecuted for their faith. May they remain faithful in times of trials and doubt, striving to live the truth, we pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. We seek your forgiveness, good, for the times we fail to show compassion, for the times we choose anger instead of facing the truth, for the times of gossip and resorting to blame, for the times we refuse to go out our way to help another in need. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, grant rest and peace to all our departed, especially Father Elias, who were baptised in your name and received you in the Eucharist. May they experience joy and happiness in your heavenly kingdom. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Favourably remember our Lord, our parents, brothers and sisters, teachers and all the faithful departed here and everywhere have gone to the rest especially Abu Nalies and his daughter Rita and all his departed. Forgive us and forgive them of all sins and offenses. Through our Lord God and Saviour Jesus Christ, who is without sin, we hope to find mercy and forgiveness for our sins and for theirs. Grant rest, O God, to the departed and forgive the sins we have committed, with or without full knowledge. Grant us pardon, O God, and forgive us and the departed, so that your blessed name may be glorified in us and in all things, with the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and of your living Holy Spirit, now and forever. As it was, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Oblation, who offered yourself for us. You are the forgiving sacrifice who offered yourself to your Father. You are the high priest who offered yourself as the Lamb. Through your mercy, may our prayer rise like incense, which we offer to your Father through you. To you be glory forever. O God the Father, you strengthen and encourage us, for we are weak. We implore you to purify us from every sin and to accept our offering so that in one spirit we may call upon you praying, Our Father, who, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. O oh Lord, lead us not into the trials of temptation that we do not have the strength to overcome, but deliver us from every evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, with the only Son, the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads before the God of mercy, before his forgiving altar, and before the body and blood of our Saviour, who gives life to those who partake of him. 
and receive the blessing from the Lord. Lord, bless your worshippers who bow before you and implore you. Make them worthy of your mercy and forgive their sins for your almighty and rich in compassion. We glorify and thank you, your only Son and your Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. The grace of the most holy trinity, eternal and consubstantial, be with you, my brothers and sisters, forever. And with your spirit. Let each one of us look to God with reverence and humility and ask him for mercy and compassion. Holy gifts for the holy, with perfection, purity and sanctity. Blessed be the name of the Lord, for he is one in heaven and on earth. To him be glory forever. Make us worthy, O Lord God, so that our bodies may be sanctified by your holy body, and our souls purified by your forgiving blood. May our communion be for forgiveness of our sins and for new life. O Lord, Lord our God, God to, you to be, be glory, glory forever. forever. So oh. 
Please be upstanding now for the blessing after communion. Again and again, we thank you, Lord, and glorify you for giving us your body to eat and your living blood to drink. O lover of all people, have mercy on us. Have mercy on us, O Lord, O compassionate and merciful one. O lover of all people, have mercy on us. Just before the announcements, further to what I said during the sermon, I'm going to practice what I preached. The last time someone was saying the Kalem al-Johari, the words of institution while I was, I got angry. This time, I'm not angry. I'm not going to condemn the person. I'm going to explain the thing. Our Lord instituted the church with a sacramental priesthood. If there's no sacramental priesthood, there's no need for a church. That's why the Protestants who don't have the sacramental priesthood keep splitting into thousands upon thousands of denominations. If each person is a priest, each person can do what they want on their own. There's no need to come together, except maybe I want to. The priest has a particular role in the Mass, just as the different parts of your body have a particular role. And just as you can't walk on your hands or feed yourself with your feet, the priest has something that he does in the Mass. And when the priest is saying the Kalem al-Johari, he is contemplating those words. I'm standing at the altar, I'm speaking in Syriani, but I'm not at the altar. I'm back in Jerusalem. I'm thinking this is, this word is this, this word is that, this is the action. I'm seeing the Lord. I'm seeing the apostles. I'm seeing the Last Supper. Someone else starts doing the Kalem al-Johari. It distracts me. I, I can't concentrate. I'm praying for you to make this the sacrifice of the altar. And what makes it difficult to accept why I got angry last time is because the one or two people who do it know that the others aren't. They know that they're the only ones saying it and the majority aren't. So I find it hard to put a good complexion on it. But I'm not going to judge anyone. But I wanted to explain why it is a major distraction to the priest I believe it also distracts the people because the people have said to me in the past, it's a big distraction, Abuna. It stops the people concentrating on the action of the altar. Thank you.
Shemesh. We thank you, our Father, for this gift that you have given us, though we are unworthy. Do not shame us because of our sin, but help and save us, that we may raise the glory and thanks to you, to your only Son, to your Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Lord Jesus, stretch forth your right hand and bless your people. Protect them by your cross, be their shelter and refuge, and perfect them with your abundant blessing, that you may raise the glory and thanks to you, to your blessed Father and to your Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Go in peace, my beloved brothers and sisters, with the nourishment and blessings you have received from the forgiving altar of the Lord. May the blessing of the most holy trinity accompany you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the one God, to whom be glory forever. Amen. you.